Good morning, it's Pretend Farmer Sam here. Just doing my morning chores, feeding the geese. <laughs> On today's agenda, we've got a whole bunch of cleaning. I spent this week cleaning things like the goose pen and the pig pen, uh, building the geese a house out of just leftover lumber scraps that I had and also cleaning out the quail cage so that we can, uh, well, maybe just clean it out because it's just full of quail poop. So, gotta make that nicer. Um, but when I woke up this morning, to my surprise, there were uh, quail hatching uh, a few days early than they're supposed to. So that kind of made me a little bit busier. Half of today will be spent getting all those little quail babies set up in the, in the brooder box and things like that. And the other half will be spent um, finishing up some of the projects outside. And the big one being cleaning up the quilt cage and such. Hey there, girl. Oh, ho, ho. Did you look at that? We've got babies coming. All right, sorry, give me, get back under there so it's nice and warm. Okay, what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to take them. I'm going to put them with the ones I've hatched inside. Uh, so the main reason is it's too chilly and that chicken is not the greatest mama. She's good at hatching eggs, but she's not good at keeping them alive. So we're actually gonna steal them away from her and put them with the other quail. And uh, she's gonna be sad for like a day and then she'll get over it. And then she'll probably start doing it again, but we don't want her to, because it's winter's on the way. Flower, how are you? How are, oh yeah. Hi, hi, hi flower, oh yes. Oh yes, you're just becoming the happiest little farm dog, aren't you? Good morning, goats. All right, here we go, here I go. <laughs> okay, hey Quail, we're gonna clean all this poop out of here for you today, and we're gonna make it nice and fresh for winter. First, we gotta catch the quail and put them in a temporary container. <sighs> it's cold today. This is no fun. Man, I don't like the I don't like the cold at all. No way. Get out of here. I just watched one of my Leghorn chickens go through the doggy door. And come to eat my cat food. That's so stupid. Get right there. Look at these baby kitties. They're getting bigger. I forgot I haven't done an update on them in a while. Hey there, cute guy. Thank you, kitties. Almost getting big enough to climb out of there. Go away. Go away. I forgot to mention, I uh, took the cats out of the mudroom because the mama cat panda and my new puppy flower were just not getting along at all. So I put them back in the barn and I'm just gonna have to hang out with them a lot so they don't become all feral and mean kittens because I want to be able to give them away to family. So it just means raw work, but it's okay. After I'm done cleaning the quail cage up, I'm gonna have to go get the uh, temporary brooder box, my brooder light, and we're gonna put them in the kitchen of my house because that's the only place I have that's warm and spacious enough to put chicks this time of year, because it's cold. <laughs> okay, let's start catching quail. I'm gonna put them in my coon trap because it was the closest thing to me and it's small and it'd be easy to get them back out of. So put my quail in my coon trap and then I'm going to start cleaning the cage out. Besides the uh, quail coming out of the cage, this is the chick that's been growing up with the quail for a little while. And uh, I'm gonna let her go with the adults today because it seems like a good day to do it. I'll keep an eye on her, making sure she's uh, doing okay, but yep, here she goes with the, uh, the adults. We're just gonna shovel all the junk out of here into this little wagon and then take the junk away and then fill it with new good stuff. Yeah. Okay, here's the before.
Okay, here's the midway point. There we go, final product. Nice clean bedding, almost fit for a queen. <laughs> okay, something I'm thinking of doing is, I think I'm gonna merge my button quail with my regular quail. The reason why is because the cold weather's coming and I don't have very many of the button quail, so warmth. And two, it means I don't have to keep another water from freezing. They can just share the same water. So that's the idea. I think they'll be okay. I don't know. They're, they're quite a bit smaller. So I'll have to check on them, make sure nothing happens. It's a risk. I'm gonna take it and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Here's a nice close up of the male button quail. Brownish bottom. It's got a slight blue tint. Maybe you can't see it so well on camera, but he's pretty handsome. Got two of these guys. And like, and like most species of birds, the female's kind of plain compared to the male. They always make the males pretty so they can attract the females. So I'm putting them in here. Go ahead, little girl. Run over to your boys. We're gonna see how the larger quail do with the button quail. Let's go get them. Okay, we've got everybody mixed together. I haven't seen a lot of pecking going on, so that's good. The button quail seem to be pretty terrified of the regular Katornis quail, but we'll see what happens. I think that they'll figure it out and get along eventually. We're just out here cleaning the goose pen to make it a little bit prettier and stuff. Got the uh, goose house and by picking up sticks, getting rid of thistles, getting rid of prairie thistle and uh, just make it a little bit cleaner for the, go for the geese. We're gonna burn that pile right there, clean it up. Just to have a nicer, nice little area. Go baby, go. Look at all that junk you found and threw in the big pile. There you go, babe. Now look at this nice goose pen. Hey, show us how the goose pen works, babe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And this is the nice goose house. It's got a lid that lifts up. Nice stuff in there. Got to fill it with some straw. Okay, now we're cleaning out the pig pen. Gonna throw everything into that big pile and burn it. Goats are, they think that, the goats think they're helping. All they are is just in the way. Hey dear. Okay, here's an after shot of the uh, goose pen after the little fire we had, that's all that's left. And then here's also the after shot of the pig pen, which I think it looks a lot better because it was a lot crappier than this one was. Now on to the next task. I gotta go get my uh, brooder box and my light and uh, set it up in my kitchen so it can make my house smell wonderful. We do this every time and every time it just makes our house stink so bad. You know, this is what we gotta do until we get a new barn. So let's do it. So next week's video should be full of, well, the whole process of hatching quail. Uh, the rotating of the eggs, the, the hatching of the eggs, then how you take care of them after they hatch and such. Uh, I'm gonna be getting all that set up today, but that video won't come out until next week. So we'll be excited for that. That's kind of fun. A whole bunch of babies everywhere. And, uh, okay, that's it for this week's video. Please like and subscribe and uh, tell me what you want to see more of and what you want to see less of. Um, I hope you leave this video better than it came. Bye. Well, it looks like everybody's doing pretty good with each other. Doesn't seem to be anybody beating up one another. You guys are just happy walking around.